A Good Drive Spoiled is the title of uh, this show, of my work. Uh, this, these are new pieces um, that I have created. Uh, I borrowed this phrase from Mark Twain, who uh, described golf as a good walk spoil. Um, Twain, in his uh, irony, was using this phrase to uh, speak to the idea of uh, Golf interrupting something that was uh, you know, like a what would have otherwise been a wonderful walk through a beautiful area. Um, I use this uh, to really speak to the same idea, but actually kind of flipping it, which was um, people sort of moving from point to point in the world that we live in without thinking about uh, really what they're moving through, and what they're experiencing. Um, I like to spoil that good drive. <laughs> I like to stop and um, look at uh, the landscape, uh, take in, you know, scene after scene, really. I mean, compositions, many, many compositions uh, are out there to find. And uh, this is exactly how I work. This is, this is my um, uh, method, is to really get in the car and drive out into uh, rural Dane County and uh, Green County, and Iowa County, uh, and just look, just you know, drive uh, for sometimes hours, uh, trying to find a certain composition, a certain idea that, that uh, really strikes a chord. This show represents uh, many of those, uh, of those travels, uh, many of those hours searching. And uh, it has a, uh, a flavor <clears throat> that, that represents uh, a number of different themes that I really like to um, uh, pursue in the work that I do. Uh, I work exclusively uh, plein air, which is uh, a French term that uh, came out of uh, the 19th century, uh, a reference to working literally out in the open air. Uh, I, I don't necessarily plug into that, uh, that sort of industry of plein air that's happening these days, but rather uh, think of it as a, a really a much more personal experience, um, a, a real connection to the place I'm standing in, the, to the environment, to the land, to the wildlife even, um, to everything that is there. Um, it is uh, a great feeling to be outside. I love being outside. I, I joke with friends that um, getting paintings out of it uh, is just sort of a sideline, actually, of, uh, of getting to be outside. Uh, unlike uh, the beginning, when I would uh, report things or chronicle the environment very, very <clears throat> faithfully, very um, true you know, to exactly every detail that I saw. Um, the, the experience of being outside now is really a springboard. Um, I am there to um, absorb the sense of it, the feel of it, you know, the light, the wind, the, the atmosphere in general, and uh, I, I use that as a beginning. <clears throat> and I, uh, you know, from that point on, uh, use what I'm seeing as uh, a, a, a sense of where I want to go with it. Uh, very often, um, <laughs> my sensibility will change even as the piece evolves, uh, and um, I will finish with something that uh, sometimes will tell a story, uh, sometimes will uh, create a mood or a, or a feel uh, that I had no idea was coming. Um, it's very interesting in that way. <laughs> uh, it's the sort of journey of discovery. I, you know, uh, I visit uh, everything from uh, big lakes, uh, like uh, rep are represented in uh, this piece. Um, this is actually at Toft Point. Uh, just outside of Bailey's Harbor in um, Door County. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful area, uh, sort of naturally preserved. 
and uh, I, I don't know. There's there's something very magical about this place. Uh, it it uh, very often is very windy, and I uh, hope I sort of captured that in this. I, I, I you know when I look at anything that I do, it's it's like a time machine taking me back to the uh, moment when it was created, and I can definitely feel the wind myself in this, <laughs> to be sure. Um, and uh, it was, you know, this really kind of brought together multiple themes that I like, which is skies and clouds, which um, uh, my family will tell you uh, is a huge distraction whenever we're driving anywhere. Uh, I am constantly looking up and um, being mar <coughs> marveled by um, what I see. You know, the, it's, it's like another another landscape uh, up there, basically, and I, I love that. Uh, the water, of course, is in this, and uh, the huge variety of uh, uh, plant life uh, is another thing that I love. Uh, hence, I seek out wetlands, um, because you find that, that amazing abundance of uh, different types of uh, plants and colors and every shapes, everything you can think of. So this, again, this, this really kind of brings together a number of those themes. Um, looking at the environment here, uh, another theme that I really love is um, sort of hideaways. Uh, I, I titled this piece uh, Sanctuary. Um, it's uh, basically a small park that was created recently uh, right along the Sugar River, uh, very very close to uh, the gallery here, actually, just down Paole Road. And um, there's some, something about these, these places, these secluded places, uh, these out-of-the-way places that really speak to me. I, I love sort of um, immersing myself in uh, the, you know, uh, sensibility of it, the, <clears throat> the intimacy of it, uh, all of those things uh, really uh, appeal to me. The open road, I think, is another, you know, big theme because uh, working plein air um, is, uh, I'm working out of the back of my Honda Element, which is my traveling studio, and I am constantly looking for um, you know, uh, opportunities along the roadside. Uh, uh, basically, uh, in Wisconsin, you can uh, pull off of a road, uh, sort of uh, near where the road is, and you are able to sort of be on public land in that context. So um, it affords uh, an artist like myself uh, many, many opportunities. Uh, this is uh, representing a um, a road uh, that uh, moves off of Highway 12 um, and opens up uh, into a huge valley that uh, becomes um, the area where Indian Lake is um, located. Um, and there was, uh, this is another theme that I really like, which is sort of um, two worlds coming together. Um, I really like the um, the idea of this road that uh, you know goes up very uh, steeply on the left, uh, moving up into the hills uh, and pastures uh, up high, uh, then bordered by trees um, that uh, divides it from this really lush valley, you know, that, that spreads out uh, beyond it. Uh, I, I like these two things happening simultaneously. Here, um, if we look over here, this is uh, representing uh, a, a, the farm of um, my very, very good friend and uh, colleague, uh, fellow artist here at The Artisan, actually, uh, Chris Gargan. Uh, this is his farm. Uh, Chris recently um, put a uh, studio uh, on the farm. Uh, right across from the house, uh, right across the sort of lane from, from his house, 
uh, and the elevation of that uh, afforded a, a whole new viewpoint of, of his farm that was very panoramic, uh, you know, um, where I was able to um, integrate, you know, sort of the, uh, again, the more intimate sense of the house, the barn, you know, the surroundings in the immediate uh, foreground with the, you know, the fields that stretch out uh, all around the farm. Uh, it's a very beautiful spot. And um, it was uh, a lot of fun because I could have a beer after every session. It was lovely. <laughs> um, this, uh, right next to it, is actually uh, one of the more unique locations in the show, which is uh, the Northwest, actually. This was uh, a painting done uh, along the coast line of the uh, Columbia River in the state of Washington. Um, I was, uh, you know, uh, very taken by the sky at, at this place because this is where the Columbia River opens out into the Pacific Ocean, actually. And so the atmosphere, the, the clouds, the sky were really amazing. Uh, these are two, actually two pieces that represent um, pastures, which are a theme that I really like. Um, what a pasture represents is um, sort of a combination of open land and um, you know the environment around that open land, um, fencing, uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Since livestock is such a hard subject to uh, represent on location, uh, animals tend to leave <laughs> when you're working on them. Uh, what a pasture kind of represents is certainly the uh, sense of, uh, you know, a place where animals uh, are located, I mean, where they were. When I was doing this pasture, for instance, on Coon Rock Road, between here and Spring Green. Uh, it, there were a number of horses in the pasture, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> they did not cooperate. Um, and in this pasture, this is, this is actually the first time I've ever had uh, an animal subject that sat still long enough for me to actually draw it in. Um, so there is definitely a lone cow sitting in this pasture. Um, this, this is a culmination of a lot of different um, feelings that I like to put into a painting. Um, there is uh, the light of a late afternoon in October, uh, so a lower uh, light and intensity to that light. Um, and uh, the pasture itself is uh, bordered by uh, you know, like a hill and trees uh, on one side and the road coming down on the other side. Uh, and it's very clear that the, the valley that this pasture um, is, is a part of was formed by this sort of snaking uh, creek that runs along the valley. Um, all of those are elements that to me are um, uh, a wonderful sense of, um, oh, I don't know, um, again, I guess I, I'll use the word intimacy. Uh, I sincerely hope that uh, the feeling uh, that I have for the land and for these places, these compositions, uh, is something that will um, resonate uh, to you, the audience, um, and I hope that uh, you enjoy uh, sort of being in these places as much as I did.